Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today is a day in the life vlog. It's actually my last full day off before I start rehearsals. So I thought it would be a nice day to film. It's just another day at home. But yeah, I really just felt like filming today. So I've been up for quite a while. It's just coming up to the afternoon. Uh, Martin's working from home and I spent pretty much the whole morning finishing Behind Her Eyes, which is a show on Netflix that I've been watching. And I remember saying in the last vlog that I was finding it a little bit slow, but I watched episode five and episode six and episode six was the last one. And it was good. I'm really glad I stuck with it. It was so interesting. Obviously won't give anything away, but a lot of people had spoken about the twist and yeah, I didn't call that. It was, it was really, really good. Um, it made me like really think afterwards. It was one of those shows that after it finishes, you like think about it for a long time. So yeah, if you're looking for a thriller, but also it's a little bit weird as well. So if you're looking for that kind of show and there's only six episodes, it does start off quite slow but the overall story is really, really good. So I've finished watching that. I'm just about to do a workout and then Martin's gonna stop for some lunch and I think we might catch up on The Circle because we have been loving The Circle. I've finally convinced Martin to watch it and he's been enjoying it as well. So I'll see if I can convince him to watch it at lunch. So of course I'm gonna do an MK fit because I'm just obsessed. <laughs> Let's choose one together. So I've done Cheetah Girls, I've done Hairspray. I haven't done any of these Latin parties yet, so maybe that'd be quite fun to do today. Or the 2000s. Actually, let's do the 2000s because I've been wanting to do this for ages. Right, let's do it. So the workout is complete. It was a really fun one, as always. So if you're looking for a fun workout, I definitely recommend that 2000s workout, but all of hers are really good. But it just like flashback to so many songs. Um, they have Black Eyed Peas, Pump It, and I have not heard that for about 20 years. So that was awesome. <laughs> but Martin's just finished for work, uh, finished for lunch and he is making some pasta and then we're gonna enjoy some pasta and are we gonna watch The Circle? Don't think he heard me. Are we gonna watch The Circle? Yeah, we can watch it. Yay! <laughs> Definitely gonna jump in the shower <laughs> after lunch and wash this hair. But it's not often that I get Martin to watch a reality show with me, so I'm really happy that he likes The Circle because that means we can watch it together. We are a little bit behind. We are, let's just check where we're up to. I think we're up to episode four maybe. Oh no, we have to do it on the uh, PlayStation. So yeah, I think we're a little bit behind everyone, but we are catching up and it's so much fun. We watched the celebrity one for Stand Up For Cancer and that was really good. And then we've been watching the new season. I think it's a really clever reality show. And even if you don't like reality shows, I would maybe just give it a go because you might end up liking it like Martin. <laughs> Cause you really enjoy it, don't you? And you didn't think you would. I, I do actually, yeah. I like, I like the so it's almost like a detective sort of thing though isn't it yeah i know what you Something mean like, you have to try and figure out who's a catfish well we don't because we can see but the um contestants yeah we are halfway through episode four because episode three ended on a cliffhanger but they all end on a cliffhanger and do you remember we had to find out yeah so we watched like the first 10 minutes of episode four <laughs> so we're up to episode four now so we're gonna watch this with lunch. Thank you all so much for all your TV show recommendations. I've been reading through them all and there are some amazing suggestions. So thank you. We'll be sure to um, let you know what our new series is. But today at 4 p.m. our Once Upon a Time Seasons ranking video goes out. So that will be up on the channel now if you fancy watching that, but only if you've seen all of Once Upon a Time because it does contain 
many, many spoilers. To every season. <laughs> but that was really fun to film, to chat about it again. For you. Oh, I thank you, sir. <laughs> right, let's eat our pasta before it gets cold, because I'm just waffling on. So it's been a few hours since I last filmed, but I've showered, washed my hair, thrown on some cozy clothes for the rest of the afternoon. But I just got, well, exciting for me. <laughs> and I thought some of you might be interested. I just got a cherries package. If you haven't heard of cherries before, it's it's kind of like an online pound land and I use it to get all of my cleaning products mostly. And yeah, I made an order the other day and it's just arrived. I actually got gifted a box from cherries last year. And then ever since then, I've just used it because I really liked it. So this isn't gifted or anything. But I thought I would do a little bit of a haul. I always enjoy seeing what people get, like home bargains, hauls, and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun to include. They actually have a refer a friend scheme as well. So it looks like if I refer someone then we both get five pounds off of our shop so if I can find that discount I'll put it in the comments well in the description box in case you fancied having a look as well I actually can't really remember what I got but it's very full oh yes I remember I remember now so they had this deal on for minkies and I don't really follow oh I've got a name Mrs Hinch I don't really follow her um but I've heard of minkies because I'm pretty sure Mrs Hinch kind of made them famous I might be wrong but I feel like a lot of people use them now because of her so I thought I'd give it a go and they had a pack for I think 10 pounds with loads of different minky products so the first minky product I got was these minky extra large three cleaning cloths. Super soft and absorbent, antibacterial. And yeah, they're just like general cleaning cloths, which I think can be used for a lot of different things. I also got the minky antibacterial cleaning pad, and I think loads of people have this. I've seen it in a lot of people's cleaning vlogs non-scratch technology great for washing up and wiping down which is good because i really want one that i can use in the kitchen also it came with a minky high-tech duster for sparkling clean surfaces and i'm very excited to use this because sometimes i find that other cloths don't do very well if something's dusty i find that it kind of like just spreads the dust so I'm excited to see if this works better. Mostly for stuff in the bedroom, like our bedside tables, just to keep them dust free. And it says no smears, no streaks. So yeah, I, this is probably the one which I'm most interested to see how it works. It also says that you use this dry, you don't have to like spray anything first, which is great. So you can use it on stainless steel, chrome, granite wood, ceramic tiles, mirrors, TVs, laptops, and screens. So you literally just use this. You don't have to like worry about spraying anything. I think, oh no, and then I also got the Minky Grill and Pan. So these are for washing up our grills and our pots and pans. I think that is all the Minky products. But if I come across any more, I'll be sure to show you. But yeah, at the moment you can buy them all in one little bundle, which is good. Also picked up some pink rubber gloves. We do have rubber gloves, um, but we mostly use them if we're using like bleach or something like that. Whereas I wanted a pair that we could use for just washing up so I can leave them by the sink. So I picked up some pink ones because they look cute. <laughs> and yeah, just kind of will save my hands a bit, make sure they don't go too dry. Also picked up some antibacterial floor surface wipes. Um, so we have a floor wipe which we use. So I just use these wipes um, when I use it. So just got some floor wipes. 
also picked up one of these. I used to um, use one of these all the time and I think I threw it out and then I never picked another one up but I really like using these to wash up. I feel like it kind of saves your hands a bit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just really like them. Oh this is soap dispensing. Oh so it looks like you fill it up with soap and then press it on. That's clever. I never really use it that way. I just use, I just like will put washing up liquid and then just use it as like a normal brush. But yeah, soap dispensing apparently. I also picked up these just because I thought it'd be interesting to try. They are a microwave steam cleaner. So it removes stubborn food stains, grime, killing germs and bacteria. Apparently works in two minutes and then you just wipe clean. So you empty one sachet into the tray and then you microwave. So I thought that might be quite good just to try and spruce up our microwave a little bit. I don't actually remember buying this. I'll have to check my um, order. I don't know whether it's been put in by mistake or maybe it was included in the Minky bundle. But it's these Microsoft micro cloth for windows. And then I also got these leather surface wipes. So as you can see, we have leather sofas. So I wanted to get something that would just be easy for me to use, like a little bit more often to clean them. So I thought these wipes would be good just to keep nearby. Um, and then it just removes dirt and grime, rejuvenates the original finish, protects the surface and moisturises and conditions. So I thought they'd be good just to keep in here and then we can just use them on the sofas or anything else um, that we have to use them on. They always have loads of different Zuflora scents as well. So I picked up a big one in Bouquet and I'm not sure if I have tried this scent before. I feel like I have. It's a really big, um, a really big bottle, which is good because sometimes I find that Zuflora, like if you use it often, it goes quite quick. Um, but I thought Bouquet would be perfect for spring. And then I'm sure everyone uh, uses Zuflora, but it is a great disinfectant and they have loads of different scents and yeah on cherries they sell loads of different ones. Next I got some Leneur In Wash Scent Booster and I got Spring Awakening. And I've never actually used these but my friend Tom used to always use them on the ship and he used to always rave about them just because they made his clothes smell really nice. So I saw them on the app and I was like, oh, well, I'll give them a go. So you basically just fill a cap full of these. They look like little sweets. <laughs> um, and then you just do your normal wash and then apparently they make your clothes smell really nice. So I got Spring Awakening because this whole cleaning haul is kind of spring themed. So I'll give them a go and I'll let you know if they're any good. Next, I picked up this Star Drops White vinegar spray and I was actually inspired by Gemma Louise Miles she does a lot of like cleaning hauls and cleaning videos and she always uses this and I really wanted to give it a go because I know that white vinegar is really good for cleaning surfaces and you can use it for so many different things like you can use it on glass mirrors you can even use it on laundry and then you can obviously use it as a surface cleaner which is what I'll probably use it the most for and she also uses it on her sink and everything and it makes it come up really shiny and lovely. Next, I've been meaning to pick one of these up for so long, um, but I just wanted to get a new fabric like spray, fabric refresher, just to use on any fabrics that we have around the house, like in between washes, just to keep them smelling lovely, keep them smelling fresh. This is actually a pet, Freshens Pet Places. Um, but yeah, it's just cotton fresh, so you can spray it on any fabrics like uh, curtains, you can spray it on mattresses, um, pillows, anything just to keep it smelling fresh. Next, I picked this up because I normally just hoover, and I, I know that a lot of people use those 
like um, stuff that you sprinkle on the floor and then hoover. I've never actually used one of them, I've always just hoovered. But they had this Nutridol Fresh Science Carpet Deodorizer Fresh Pink. So you just sprinkle this over your carpet and then vacuum it up and it like removes any bad odours. So I thought I would give it a go. Just to give the carpets a little bit extra love. <laughs> Next I picked up just this small little um, fabric conditioner. It only does 36 washes. But I actually have a lot of fabric conditioner left. But I wanted to pick up a spare little one just in case I run out. And I like using the com comfort fabric conditioner. It always um, keeps my clothes nice but it doesn't like irritate my skin. Second to last thing was I picked up some bathroom surface wipes. And I picked these up so that we can just use them even like every other day or daily just to keep the surfaces nice and clean in between deep cleans. I like using wipes just to freshen it up and then you do a deep clean after. So yeah, I just thought I would pick up some bathroom specific ones. And then last but not least, I picked up the Pink Stuff Multi-Purpose Cleaner. Now I do have the pink stuff which is like in the tub and it's like a paste and it's really good if you have anything that takes a little bit of like um, brushing to get off so like on the hob or in the bathroom, really good. But I wanted to get the cleaner as well because I was really impressed with the paste so I thought I would get this. Streak free, sparkling clean, tough on grease and grime and it's just a multi-purpose one so you can use it for loads of different things. But I really like the pink stuff and it's Star Drops which is the same make as the white vinegar spray. And that is it, we've reached the end of the box. Oh that was fun, now I have to find a home for all of these. We have a cleaning cupboard under the sink in our kitchen. But I am a little worried that it's not all going to fit. So apologies, a lot more time has passed again. Um, but I just went out for a walk to get my steps. Mm. Martin's finished work. Mm. So we're going to enjoy the evening together. And I needed to pick up a few essentials. One being toilet paper. Do you remember when no one could get toilet paper? Um. Luckily that kind of stopped. Yeah. Because um, that was really stressful at the time. But anyway, yeah, I had to go get some toilet paper. Um, but I also picked up two Easter eggs. It's Easter egg season, guys. <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> They've been everywhere for months. And I know, I haven't had that many, to be fair. But I think it's because I'm going shopping less as well. But yeah, they had Easter eggs. So I picked up two for us. Picked up two cream egg ones. Mm -hmm. I thought it might be quite nice because it'll be like a celebration of me returning to rehearsals. Because <laughs> yeah, <it's great. laughs> I start rehearsals tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. So I also need to pack a little bag as well so that I'm all set for tomorrow. But very annoyingly, I ordered these black leggings off H&M, sports leggings. And they look really nice, they had amazing reviews. I was so excited for them to arrive because um, I could wear them for rehearsals. And I got an email today saying they'd been delivered. But I'd been in all day and they weren't delivered, so. Well, they were, but we think to someone else. Yeah, we think, I don't, we don't, well, it's the, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the mystery of the lost H&M leggings. But yeah, I'm thinking someone somewhere has my leggings so I hope they like them as much as I was gonna like them <laughs> but I, I just called H&M now and to be fair the woman was quite helpful and she ended up giving me a refund but I think it's gonna take a couple of days to process but then I was like shall I reorder them but I'm a bit scared that the same thing will happen yeah it's fine I've, I've got other leggings I can wear I was just excited about them um because they had really good reviews they were very reasonably priced and I just wanted some black ones because I had to throw away my old pair of black leggings because they had a hole in them. So I don't have any black leggings and I always like having a pair of black ones just because they go with, go with everything. But anyway, not the end of the world. Just a little story I thought I would tell. Martin's <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> hey, no. hey, that's been my day. Well, 
whilst you've been working away, that's what's been going on. Now this is a story. All about how my leggings, <laughs> leggings got lost. My leggings got lost and I got a refund. <laughs> anyway, Martin is making a gusto meal. Like, he is making uh, a korma because it only takes. Well, it says it only takes ten minutes. Oh, nice chicken korma. And I am going to give the living room a little bit of a quick blitz. Um, somehow it's got a little bit messy, so I just want to quickly tidy it up before we eat. So the room is looking a lot tidier. I am burning a bibbity bobbity boo candle and it is the Yoho Yoho Pirate's Life for me. Love this one. And then look, Martin's made this lovely curry. It looks so good. It's korma, isn't it? Yeah. Yum yum. And we're gonna watch more of The Circle. So we're just about to watch the next episode of The Circle, which means we're up to date. So we can start actually watching it live with everyone which will be fun. It's so good this season. I think it's probably been my favourite season yet, <laughs> but I think that's because I really like so many people. You were like, I want to apply. Oh yeah, I'm going to apply. <laughs> but I don't know whether I'd be myself or if I would be a catfish. Let me know in the comments what you would be <laughs> if you entered the circle. Would you be yourself or would you be a catfish? Part of me would want to be myself because I think it would be easier. Have you explained how it works? The circle? Yeah. So it Just is... Just in case people uh, don't have it. It's basically like a social media reality show, but they all live in different flats in the same apartment, but they never see each other and they only communicate through a screen. So they have their profile with their profile picture and then they all chat. So they can either chat in private chats or like big group chats, there's also challenges and then they have to decide who to block and also who becomes influencers. So it's basically you have to try and be the most popular mm -hmm. but you can either be yourself or you can set up a catfish profile and pretend to be someone who you think people will like. So it's really interesting. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd be yourself or if you would be someone else but yeah we're gonna watch episode six i think i'd get confused <laughs> yeah i know but i feel like i wouldn't win so i'd like to become someone who had a chance of winning but then it's harder because you have to play a game the whole time <gasps> Ooh. so quickly before the next episode starts i just wanted well we both just wanted to thank everyone that has bought a fridge magnet or a badge from our Etsy shop. We've been blown away and when I last checked we had over 700 orders yeah, which is amazing. incredible. Also all the fridge magnets are sold out apart from uh, creepy hyena. Creepy hyena. Two left at the moment as we film. Only two left at the moment as we film so thank you so so much. Honestly it means the world. And, and I say yeah. this all the time, but we do have plans for more stuff, but yes. it's been very tricky Ooh. to find time. <laughs> Spot the Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, we do have plans for more stuff and also we're just so excited to wear them out and about again at the mm. theme parks, at Disney. So yeah, thank you so much, honestly. I felt bad that I hadn't really been at this vlog, so hello! <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit um, before I go onto the exercise bike. It's quite late because we watched two episodes of The Circle. We were tempted to watch the one that was actually live on the TV, but we thought we'd better wait because Helena's got to be up early. I'm going to get up with Helena so I get out for a bit of a walk and then I start work. So yeah, we decided not to watch the next one because I want to go on the exercise bike. Also something I wanted to update you about because I started mentioning it in a few vlogs that I was reading comic books and uh, like graphic novels and stuff. So this was the next one that I got after Silver Surfer Thanos Quest, Infinity Gauntlet, a bit thinner that one. And this was them like trying to stop Thanos. And it was really cool seeing the scenes from the movies, like how they'd taken bits from it and stuff. Uh, so I've actually finished that. Uh, need to move on to the next one. 
But I need to move on to the next one in the Infinity Saga first. I can't remember what the next one... Oh, I think the next one's Infinity War. Because this has ended very differently to how the film ends. So this continues on uh, into the Infinity War. So that's what I need to read next. But yeah, really enjoy it. And I'm getting through them really quickly because I'm I'm really enjoying them. Like I'm not I'm not that much of a reader. I do get distracted while I'm reading. Um, but with things like this, they really keep my interest because they're like movies and I can really take things in. Um, so yeah, really love reading those. And something else I did uh, the other day on Instagram, because I felt like I hadn't really been posting on Instagram because of work, um, just been really busy. But I did a uh, stories Q&A, and that was really lovely. So if you did put in a question, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't manage to get through everybody's questions, but there's some really good ones. Uh, one of them actually was, oh, we plan to do a uh, live on the YouTube channel anytime soon, because that's something that we were doing quite consistently. Uh, over the lockdowns, but with like me starting the job and things, we just haven't had a lot of time. But we are trying to organise a one for soon. So if that's something that you'd like for us to do, uh, a live catch up with you all, then let us know in the comments, and we'll be sure to try and organise that around the times that I'm finishing work and the times that Helen's finishing work. And so yeah, just keep an eye out. And then another <laughs> another question was about. The brief history videos and if there's going to be any more and there is and like I've got the next idea I know exactly what it is I've got the plan of what I want to do it's just I haven't found out all my background information yet and I haven't finished doing all the test footage but now that I'm sort of getting into my new job um, I think I'm going to be able to find time to focus on that and try and get that done so yeah, a new brief history will be coming <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I know there's a bit of a, uh, a, a time period in between, but it's just because I want to try and make them the best that I can. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. And if you haven't seen the others, I did a brief history of Phantom Manor, uh, and a brief history of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and a brief history of Star Tours. So it's all about the rides at Disney. Um, check those out. I'll put an eye up for you. Had a blast filming the last one because it was all to do with Star Wars and Hilma had a, <laughs> a fantastic role in that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will get back working on it, I promise you. So yeah, just thought I'd update you on what I've been up to and now I'm going to go through and go on the exercise bike. Slothy, I'm just finishing the vlog. <laughs> We're all cosy, wrapped up in bed. We had a lovely day and we watched lots of The Circle <laughs> this <laughs> evening. We did. And we are all caught up, although we didn't watch the one that went live today. So we're still one behind, but we are loving it. But we're going to leave this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Turtle Pipsky.